As we stand on the cusp of the 75th Indian Republic Day, a celebration of unity and sovereignty, we have the privilege of engaging in a conversation with the Indian Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Excellency Vinod K. Jacob. Your Excellency, thank you for this opportunity for joining us on the Bahrain this week uh, on this very special occasion. Happy Republic Day. Thank you. Happy Republic Day to you and to the readers of Bahrain this week. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. To begin with, um, the very important question, how do you see the bilateral ties, even otherwise a very healthy and friendship, a beautiful friendship, prospering in the coming years? And how do you place yourself, your role in the coming years, especially you're at the beginning of your tenure in the, in the country? Yeah. Thank you for that question. That's an important and relevant question in the bilateral relationship. I would say uh, that the relationship is strong and robust. The relationship is based on fundamental consensus between the leadership on both sides. Most recently, it was articulated during the state visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi in August 2019, where they reiterated the, uh, the fundamental basis of the engagement, which is the long-standing historic ties, civilizational values, common interests, and the commitment to taking the relationship forward. Now, the aim is to engage and strengthen this relationship across political, economic, trade, commerce, culture, people to people, defense, higher education, science and technology, all areas, and also new frontier areas like uh, renewable energy, information technology, IT, yes, etc. Now, my role in it is the role of any Indian ambassador anywhere in the world to convert the consensus that my leadership has reached with the leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain and into reality and take the relationship to the next level. And I intend to do it by promoting and protecting Indian interests, promoting and protecting the interests of Indian citizens, Indian nationals here, supporting them in their consular uh, uh, responsibilities and activities and also negotiating the relevant agreements for taking the relationship forward. Right. Uh, very well said, Your Excellency. And in any uh, bilateral ties, uh, it what I think plays a crucial role is the cultural ties yeah, and yeah. also people-to-people -people connection. So what are the embassy's initiatives to ensure, especially the recently concluded India and Bahrain yeah. Festival, was an amazing testament to people-to-people -to -people ties and we saw a very good Bahraini presence here who really lauded that. How do you see the embassy placing that front in uh, importance, in the focus? Uh, at the outset, I must thank you for the publicity you have given to the India and Bahrain Festival. This thank is you. the first yes. such initiative and I am told that it was a grand success. People from all walks of life within the Indian community as well as prominent Bahraini mm -hmm. uh, individuals uh, came and participated and I am grateful to this participation. Of course, that is a manifestation of the deep-rooted cultural and civilizational Indeed. ties between India and uh, Bahrain, which is more than 4,000 years old. When you talk about culture and people to people, there are two aspects, past as well and as the yes. present. Now, in terms of the past, we have a great past. So there's a lot of elements that we can pick up on, and that is the aim of these festivals and the outreach activities. In the present are the things that we have to do for laying the basis for the future. Mm -hmm. So we are going to push for activities of the ICCR here, support activities of Indian community organizations who want to promote Indian culture here with the help of the Bahraini authorities, encourage movement of journalists between India as well as Bahrain. As we speak, there are a group of I eight, think there is a group, a group going, of yeah. eight mm -hmm. journalists from Bahrain who are in India. Yes. They visited Taj Mahal and many other places. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also had uh, Bahraini government officials who have gone on visits to India as part of the G20 yes. uh, mm -hmm. uh, summit which took place last year. Um, after I joined, we have started what is called the Visit Embassy Program for yes. encouraging the youth in Bahrain. Indian youth in Bahrain as well as Bahraini youth to understand and appreciate the bilateral relationship and understand the new India, mm -hmm. the India which uh, offers huge opportunities for growth for the region as well as for the world. Right. Um, indeed, we are all proud at this moment to see the development in our country and it's 
it's rightfully our responsibility to showcase the new India. Yeah. And I would congratulate you on this program of Visit India because yeah. I could see on the Instagram the school students the visiting. School students, and it yeah. is a great opportunity for people to see like what things are happening in the embassy. Coming to the diaspora, the mm -hmm. Indian diaspora in Bahrain, they are very lively, they are very active. You, I'm sure you agree with me. Um, how do you think the Indians in Bahrain can contribute to this effort of the mission to promote India at its best, as well as uh, such a large uh, number, isn't it, Your Excellency? Yeah. How do you look at their concerns and what is the mechanism that the mission has in place to address these? Yeah, so uh, I agree with you about the, uh, about the importance of the Indian diaspora for the bilateral relationship. In terms of numbers, it is around 340,000 as of October 2023. Uh, they are a very vibrant community. And I must tell you, in the almost six months that I've been here, I've received only support and excellent assistance from the Indian community. So I must take this opportunity to uh, provide by your platform to convey to the Indian community my sincere appreciation for all the support that they have given. I've seen that in the various open houses that I've held once a month. But also when I uh, look at the overall picture of the uh, diaspora in Bahrain, I split it into two parts, roles mm -hmm. as well as responsibility. Mm -hmm. The Indian diaspora has certain roles for the bilateral relationship. It has certain responsibilities for the bilateral relationship. When we look at the roles, I would say in the way in which they have conducted themselves, in the way in which they have contributed to the economic prosperity of Bahrain, in the way in which they have acted as a bridge between the two societies, um, they have done an exemplary job. And while doing that, they have carried out important responsibilities by following what are essential requirements in any ordered society, which is that they have followed the laws and rules of Bahrain. Um, I am very happy to state that overall the Indian community has uh, have lived as good guests uh, um, uh, to excellent hosts, which is the leadership the government and the people of Bahrain and it is my hope that during my tenure the, the cooperation between the two societies will be strengthened as a result of the positive contributions of the Indian diaspora. Right. And I would reiterate the excellent host part because I'm myself uh, here for 25 years yes. and what more can we ask for right. in uh, right. living in a country like Bahrain. Thanks to the royal leadership as we celebrate I'm sure Bahrain is equally celebrating. Your Excellency this year's Republic Day, the 75th Republic Day what is uh, going to happen what 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 do we have because the embassy has been vibrant in all the festivals and all celebrations especially the independence and the republic day what's new this year and how are we going to celebrate it uh, the uh, 26th of january every year is the republic day of india it's a solemn occasion it's a highly ceremonial occasion where we celebrate the fact that we have adopted the indian constitution in 1950 and its relevance in the contemporary time so that is a day on which all Indian nationals in Bahrain are welcome to the Indian Embassy for the flag hoisting in the morning. Uh, we also use it as an opportunity to recall the sacrifices of our uh, freedom fighters, the contribution of the drafters of the constitution, an amazing document, the role of the Indian armed forces and definitely the role of the Indian diaspora, Indians living all around the world. While also doing that, we also remember the challenges and the suffering that the, our compatriots face in India and abroad and try to work together with a sense of purpose with local governments, host governments, etc. to alleviate those challenges and sufferings. Uh, and Your Excellency, to conclude, um, you mentioned about the future, uh, you mentioned about your role. Coming to the host country and our country, the collaborations, how do you look at the future collaborations? You did mention uh, the new areas, yeah, new avenues yeah. where we, we could tap into, especially the technology or the or already existing pharmaceutical industry, science, isn't it? Space, yeah, Baran yeah. is equally. So how do you look at the future collaborations, possibilities? Now, that, that is something significant of the, about this bilateral relationship. Quite unique in this region if we look at it, which is that this is a civilizational relationship. Bahrain used to be the place from where uh, different people at different parts of time and history have come to India, the Indian subcontinent. And from there they have gone to different places like Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, etc. So Bahrain is the direct connect between the Gulf and the Indian subcontinent. Um, now the leadership in Bahrain has 
through the Al Khalifa dynasty for more than 200 years have consistently encouraged good cooperation with India, irrespective of who were in power or authority in mm -hmm. uh, Delhi. So I must appreciate the excellent leadership on the Bahraini side uh, uh, represented through the Al Khalifa dynasty over the past 200 plus years and their foresight and the vision, the, the fact that they realize today, for instance, his uh, Majesty, uh, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, and the entire leadership, the governments, they realize and they appreciate that India is a, uh, is a partner for uh, Bahrain with whom they can work with a sense of confidence, with, uh, uh, with a, a sense of purpose. They realize that India offers an excellent growth story. Similarly, on the Indian side, there is a rediscovery of the old relationship and they see that with this region growing and prospering, uh, taking on new challenges, dealing with it in a very uh, sophisticated way, Bahrain is uh, uh, ideally located, strategically located for further engagement with this region. And that forms the basis for the relationship going forward that we saw during the state visit of Prime Minister Modi in the way he was received by the Indian mm -hmm. community here, the honor that he was bestowed upon by His Majesty, his Majesty. King, mm -hmm. King Hamad. And I, I'm pretty uh, uh, encouraged by the fact that the leaderships on both sides look at the bilateral relationship uh, through the same prism. Mm -hmm. Now, in the last few months, the world has seen important changes. Mm -hmm. And even on that, there is, we see a high degree of convergence be it the challenge of cross-border violence or terrorism, be it the, cha the uh, transnational issues of climate change, etc. There is a high degree of convergence between India and the Kingdom of Bahrain, mm -hmm. which gives further encouragement to someone like me and my counterpart, Bahraini counterpart in New Delhi, to say that, you know, there is a whole world out there to further explore in the india bahrain bilateral relationship to take it to the next level. Great. Thank you very much, Thank Your you. Excellency, for joining us. Uh, you did wish the Bahrain this week readers, but can we have your Republic Day message to the Indian diaspora through our channel, please? Um, I'm very happy to note that Bahrain this week has been uh, an active participant in promoting the India-Bahrain bilateral relations through the platform that it has and also through the active participation in the very uh, many initiatives that the embassy has been taking, for instance, most recently, India and Bahrain. Earlier, ever since I joined the uh, uh, Republic Day, uh, the, Independence the Independence Day Independence. function, uh, as well as all subsequent activities. And I hope that the readers of Bahrain this week will benefit by this partnership. Uh, I want to tell the uh, Indian community in uh, Bahrain that you have uh, uh, you have uh, carried yourselves uh, well. Your families have contributed uh, actively to the society here. You've been an important uh, element of the economic prosperity of the Kingdom of Bahrain. You follow the rules and laws of the Kingdom of Bahrain. I would urge you to continue to do that and also uh, um, act as a sort of force multiplier for the India-Bahrain bilateral relationship in the years to come. Thank you very much, Thank Your you. Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. That was the Indian Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Excellency Vinod K. Jacob, sharing his perspectives on the bilateral ties and beyond as we celebrate the 75th Indian Republic Day. This is Raji Unikrishan for the Bahrain This Week. Happy Republic Day to all the Indians and those who are celebrating it in Bahrain and beyond.